of you can see already what's on the screen, it's Bill Maher talks to kids. Now, I've seen a couple clips of this go around the internet, and it looked pretty bad. So the pitch to this that everyone has told me is Bill Maher gets drunk, yes, drunk, around kids, children, in a podcast setting, and it goes poorly. So let's watch it. I can't believe they uploaded this. It's been uploaded. People are, he's just, he's just like, yep, that's fine content. All right, let's see. Hey, kids. Hello. Hi. Hi. <laughs> Hello. How you doing? Good. Nice to meet you. <laughs> nice to meet you. Is he already Hi. fucking drunk? I'm Hi. Kyle on. <laughs> and they got a child that's obviously taller than him, which is hilarious. And you're? And I'm Beverly. Beverly, of course. Now, obviously, uh, there's been a booking mix-up because you're not even close to the same age. Yes. <laughs> so, you know, what can I say? Beverly it's hard hard to get good help. What? How, no, so how old are you? Eight. Eight? Yes. Wow. You look all he's, he's making booking jokes to the children? The kids don't care about booking jokes? What what crowd is he playing to right now? Eight, but uh, <laughs> yeah, plainly you're. Not I'm glad he is child free. Not eight. No, I'm sixteen. Sixteen. Yeah, my twice brother's the same age as him. You what? My brother. Ah, maybe that's the mix up. <laughs> maybe it was supposed to be your brother. <laughs> are you? Are there uh, anybody between cool. you and your brother at sixteen and eight? Um, my cat. She's fourteen or fifteen. That does not really count. <laughs> I mean, I'm no, talking about because I have a sister. She's the oldest of my um, like sibling. How old and is I'm she? The youngest of my. She's nineteen. So nineteen, sixteen, and eight. I always was curious about families like that where the kids are like very far apart. Did they? They just uh, did. They was like, honey, there's that thing we used to do. What was it? It was in bed. <laughs> Inappropriate. Not what we should be doing. What do you? What do? You, what? Bill. All right, this got bad quick. He didn't even fucking warm me up. All right. And then they. But it's always good to be like the baby of the family because he you bailed right the fuck out of that. Yeah, gets, I have a little cousin. He's four. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But that's a cousin. Yeah, and like. Literally, but that's a cousin. Billy, every time he comes over, sometimes he thinks of random ideas. Larry, he was hiding under my grandma's bed. So he's hiding under the bed. Yes. Yeah, that's not that interesting. What the fuck? Why is he being an asshole to this child? What? What? I can't. Why are you mean to this kid who is excited to tell you about her cousin's escapades? Right. Yeah. No. Like. <laughs> I mean, come he on. He was under the bed while I was watching TV up on top of the bed. Yeah. So what do you do for danger? For danger? Yeah. What? For kicks. For kicks? Like what? Like what? Well, I don't know. You tell me. I mean, you're, the, you're the kid. I'm asking questions. That's what I want to know. Like what do you? Like when I was your? I don't know. You tell me. I, you're a kid. I'm asking questions. This is the worst, most uncomfortable shit already. I'm not watching this whole thing. By the way, it's like a, if you wish to watch an hour of this, you can. I'm stopping whenever these two kids are done, which is like right around the 20 minute mark. Rage. Uh -huh. What I did for kicks. <laughs> Was, what's that? Phone. The phone? Yeah, yeah I'm sure. Playing. She was talking about Roblox. Uh, right. Yeah, I was going to ask you if you should download it. No, you shouldn't even have a phone. Um, I got <laughs> one when I was three. Three? Yes, uh, that, was, that was my reaction in my head, because I couldn't say that out loud. Three? <laughs> That's just so wrong. <laughs> I mean, three. And what do you do on your phone? I play Roblox, Minecraft, and I have it on my own YouTube channel. And I also have an Insta Instagram account and a TikTok account at this age, at eight years old. At this age? That was my line. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> You're reading my lines. No, I don't even know where you're I mean, at. Uh, right, at this age. Don't you think so? I mean, you're, this guy's 16, and you put him in the position of being like kids today. I got to tell you, they're just crazy. I mean, right? I mean, yeah. 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 Isn't I that crazy to have a phone at three? I don't, I don't think I had a phone at eight. Uh, I think I got my first phone in fourth grade, and it was like... I got my first phone... I'm old, though. I got my first phone when I was like 15 or 16, something like that. Yeah, dude, he's like slurring. Uh, 
really old Samsung Android. Right. And a really old Samsung Android. <laughs> oh, kids. So mine was a Nokia. It was my mom's first. It was a gold, not not joking, uh, but like gold plastic Nokia. Yeah, when yeah. I was like only three, I was I was born in 2015. So I was like, it was like in 2019 when I joined Roblox and I started reading stuff immediately when I started playing Roblox and started typing. Wait, you joined what? Roblox. Is Roblox. Like, my phone's it. dead right now, but Good. I can't. What? Spell it. Spell Roblox. R O B L O X. What is it? It's like a game where you can have many games inside of it that you can play together. Oh, like the Matrix? Like no. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> like the Matrix? <laughs> From the year 2000. <laughs> I never saw that either. You it's... never saw the Matrix? Why why are you fucking talking about <laughs> Why did you bring it up? This is also a game that's also educational, Minecraft, like where you can learn to like survive on your own. Have you thought about Game of Thrones? It's educational? Okay, dude. <laughs> I hear people love it, and it's... Yeah. Have you watched Game of Thrones? Yeah, no. I know. No? <laughs> wow. I Even watched... Game of Thrones is too, like, old school for, like, kids? I... It, it's, 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 she wasn't even alive when the last episode aired. What, man? I watched Clue in real life, though. Hey, hey. Mm -mm. No. Don't. <laughs> you know what? You'll put an eye out. Oh. We're very safety conscious here at this house. <clears throat> why is he? Why is he scolding the kids? I, I. He's never been more unlikable, and he has been a smarmy loser many times. But this is like fucking weird. Anybody that has like, you know anxiety about hanging out with kids you're like oh, i don't know if i'm good around kids i mean you're not this bad that's for sure i don't really watch look both ways before you do anything <laughs> i don't really watch not even in if you row. see a dog tell a policeman why your dogs are missing no i'm just saying we're very safety conscious if you see it what, what? He, he doesn't know how to make jokes this guy's a comedian he's a millionaire this man is a millionaire for his personality how? How did this happen? In this house. Then never look directly at a cloud. I just want kids to be safe. You. Let's talk about you because <laughs> <laughs> you. <laughs> I can't even understand your life. Maybe I could kind of understand his life a little bit. You don't watch TV either? Uh, I mean, I watch maybe a couple episodes of something my mom is watching like what I mean, what does your mom watch um she was watching suits a while ago uh, yeah because <laughs> yeah, making markles on it um, that's great, great. I, love I mean i actually mom. used to watch um actual like i used to watch tv a lot with her like right. you know what blue bloods is it's like yeah, a, of course yeah. tom Selleck. do i know what <laughs> blue bloods is yeah. i mean i would never watch it like i wouldn't watch any detective oh. work on cbs oh, I, oh, but yeah. i mean uh, that's for people even older than me can you believe that yeah what the? <laughs> <laughs> does bill maher think he's coming across as like a fun guy <sighs> okay so what are you gonna do when you grow up Let's talk about you. Doesn't ask a thing. He's like, you watch TV with your mom? And he's like, yep, and then moves on. I, I, <laughs> I'm a baker, still be an actress, and pro I might steal Ash Ashley's job. And then, uh, yeah. Steal Ashley's job? My Ashley? Yeah. The, oh, yeah, she <laughs> does the media here for this company. She does, you know, puts out the clips and stuff. That is a great job to get into. And you seem to be very savvy since you had a phone in the womb <laughs> yeah. You laugh, but that's next. They're just going to implant a phone in there, so the kid, when they when they're born, they're just like with the phone. I, <laughs> I, I, when, I, when I was inside my mom. This is fucking painful. This is really bad stuff. Uh, <laughs> the top comment. I have a feeling this is how Bill talks to his twenty-year-old dates too. <laughs> fucking true, dude. You're a scumbag, man. Womb. I when she I was always making great cheese and milk and I I now I'm like sensitive to milk. Wait a I still second. Still drink it. When I was <laughs> in my mother's womb, I made her. You know. I made her like I was like I'm hungry. Okay. I was it's kicking on her. Not all about you. 
Okay. <laughs> I, I think before you're born, <clears throat> let other people talk. Okay. okay. <laughs> That's what I think about being born. Let, let other people talk? You gotta talk? wait till you're born before you get a, a vote. Um, right. Yeah. Uh-huh. Okay, right? Yep. Anyway. Uh-huh. Mm. Go. Cool, man. What? Who? I, I guess I'm glad I can hear other people off camera that are trying to laugh and make this not as painful as it is. This guy likes to bring his newly turned 18-year-old dates to restaurants so he can proudly exclaim the fact that the server comes to take drink orders. She'll be having water. She can't drink. She just turned 18. It's at least strong. that's what I've heard from someone that worked at one of these more. establishments. From Bill Maher? That's gross, dude. Please make a stop. I cannot handle more cringe. It's too late for you. There's more cringe on the table. No, what is your birthday? Finish your cringe before you leave the table. October 20th. Uh, it's correct. 2015. Oh. Well, I'm January 20th. Nice. Nice. <laughs> my, I, my, my cousin's is January 1st. So we're on the cusp. You know that? That's the cusp. I mean, astro astrology. Astrology is uh, <laughs> nonsense, kids. But, like, for people who believe in it, the that's cusp? very important when you're on Go. the cusp because it means you're right between two signs. What? It, this is fake, but this is very important to the kids. And a kid's menu for my friend, says Bill. Jesus Christ. Yeah. Do yeah. They, do, have you ever talked to anybody about astrology? No. Have you? Do you know Tom Cruise personally? Tom no, Cruise? No, I'm kidding. That's I heard Scientology. of him. Do you know Tom Cruise personally? I have not. No, I've met him, but I don't know him personally. Is he, he's a cool guy. Well, thank you, other guy, for taking over this fucking conversation, because Bill can't do anything. Talk about Tom Cruise. I mean, that's an interesting question, Kai. Um, is he a cool guy? I think he's a, a super talented guy. I mean, there's very few people who have consistently, over the decades, not, have to, not that I have to tell you, uh, made more entertaining movies. I mean, from the beginning. I mean, he became a star in the early 80s. Mm -hmm. There's the grass in my shoe. <laughs> there's what? There's grass in my shoe right here. Oh. Well, why don't you give that to me? I like grass. Uh, I was going to eat it. Uh -huh. Anyway. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I need grass if I'm going like, to fucking get like through this. like a bunch of bunny cartoon. They do some jokes just for the adults. Um, uh, Tom Cruise, but, you know, he is a Scientologist. Now, ACAG Redeem say something nice about Bill Maher. At least he's not religious. You know. I don't know if you know about science. You know about Scientology? But he's even a cringe atheist. He can't even do that right. He's like an asshole in every respect. I actually dislike Bill Maher more than I dislike some fucking Republicans, I bet. He just sucks. He's religious. <laughs> Bill Maher is successful. Scientology, no. I'm only I'm only going to be in, like, third grades yet, so. <laughs> so. Well, trust me, that's the level of the Scientologist. No, I kid the Scientologist. It's a, I kid it's the Scientologist. a religion, a modern religion, um, uh, that came along just in the last century, um, so they really knew better. But they believe some interesting things, like the world is 12 trillion re years old, which is... Yeah. Impossible. Um, and uh, <laughs> kind of not impossible. bicycles. She's so bored by him. The grass in her shoe is more entertaining than Bill Maher. Yeah, absolutely. Possible because cave when my like, cavemen in real life and they're like fighting with like bones because they always like would try to get meat from stuff. Yes, that's not wrong. Um, the uh, early man was carnivorous and present man is carnivorous. Do you eat meat? Yeah, I no. eat bacon, pork, and especially the ribs. Definitely the ribs. I love ribs. And then I also love steak. She's actually like an interesting little person. This is around like, oh man, you're into like first, second, third grade. So, I mean, you're talking like, you know, six, seven, eight years old. This is full on I have opinions era, but they're like kind of before they're tainted by the tween years. Um, very wholesome kids. Usually, uh, or they, I guess they could be little terrors, but, um, you know, they have little opinions and stuff. Like, just ask questions about this kind of stuff. Follow up on the ribs. Talk about ribs and food and shit. Talk about the Roblox. You don't know anything about Roblox? It's a good time for Bill to be the punchline because Bill is the old guy and doesn't know anything about that. Instead, he's admonishing these fucking kids all the time. He's just an asshole. He literally can't help but, like, put these kids down. Okay. 
Well, I'm not going to shame you for that. I mean, I'm not a vegetarian. What about you, Kai? You eat meat? Uh, of course, yeah. Of I, co well, not of course. <laughs> there's a lot of people who don't. I, mean, well, I, 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 I don't know. I just... Well, I mean... Especially there's types of dinosaurs that are not carnivore. So they eat, like, grass and plants. Because I did study on a dinosaur that eats plants, and yes. I made a pyramid of it with the, its world, and I have it and its child. That's awesome. You're right. Dinosaurs were, were not mostly carnivorous. Dinosaurs were plant eaters, but they ate a lot of plants. Yeah, herbivores. Herbivores, yes. Very good. Wow, look at that. Eight years old, herbivore. It's because my second grade teacher, she is like um, definitely like a plant lover. She has her, she made the garden inside of our school, and she also Cute. lets eat um, I for artichoke. She lets have artichokes. She, like she got it from her garden, cooked it, and brought it to us the next day. Fuck yeah. And is that a, a hobby of yours, studying dinosaurs? Are you, are you fascinated by dinosaurs? Have you seen Jurassic I, Park? Yeah, I've seen like a Jurassic, I played the Jurassic Park game too before. I also like, I forgot, I also like Stegosaurus, whatever Who doesn't? it's called. Yeah, and like, I forgot the dinosaur of my I'm name, a, yeah. but it was actually a dinosaur with like a kind of a mermaid tail, kind of. My accountant's name was Herbivore. <laughs> I kid the Jews. Okay. My so, accountant. Um, what do you want to do when you become uh, of age? Because it's coming up soon for you. Yeah. Uh, I'm not 100% sure, but yeah, I mean, you don't have to be when I was thing. younger, uh, I dreamed to become a professional soccer player. But I mean, I, I don't know how realistic that really is. Um, yeah, I think but, when it comes to athletics, you have to have a backup plan. Yeah, yeah. Other things you can say, look, I mean, I wanted to be a comedian when I was your age. I knew it. Um, <laughs> I love that. My dog does that. What? You? A comedian? Fuck you for doing this to us. What do you mean? I didn't do this. It was delivered to me. And! And! <laughs> you still have a little more time to go, chat. <laughs> Um, <laughs> anyway, um, called this girl a dog. I really never had a backup plan. It was like this or bust. Mm -hmm. But it's a little different with, with athletics because, first of all, athletics, if you're not doing it early, it's not going to happen. Mm -hmm. I mean... I started acting when I was like one. Oh, you, so you are an actress. Oh, I didn't know that. So what have, what have we seen you in? So, um, you, three episodes. Wait, uh, what three episodes? Of you. You, what's you? It's like a show of, like, kind of murder, kind of. Murder? And then um, a Target commercial, a Home Depot commercial. Mm. Prolific! Um, what, um, what were you playing in these ads? Just a kid. Oh, I was what? playing as, like... Child? Child, yes, child. Playing yeah, a definitely. child, okay. I didn't get to do my singing part in the Target commercial. I'm really sad about that. How did you prepare to play a child? Uh, literally, I had a, so like after well, the, for the fitting. She's giving an earnest reply to his shitty question. Of like, and I appreciate the her. One. I had you like. This is what I'm talking about. Like, they're just too. They don't. They don't understand that you're being a fucking sarcastic asshole, right? Like, because most people aren't sarcastic assholes to kids, right? So she's not picking that up. You start picking. You know, you get that shit with your peers later on. I on different outfits, of course, mm -hmm, of and course. they picked the outfit that looked cute, actually, and I got to keep the clothes afterwards. Or no, that was for the Target commercial. Or was it both? Let me give you a little hint, honey. Always keep the clothes. Let them yes. get them from you. Okay? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and then literally... Yeah, let them... Get, yeah, here's a tip. Steal from the production. Uh, because in the modern age, I'm sure that's just so fucking easy, Bill. Jesus Christ. Yeah. You just wear them all. And then for That's... like for the Target commercial, I had lines, but they didn't put it inside of the commercial, so I was sad about that. I was only in there for one point zero sec, one point five seconds, basically. But I understand. Skipping all the way across. I understand what you really want to do is direct. I might want to make my own show with me and my friend though, called Dandy's World, because it's a game on Roblox. She actually does want to direct, apparently. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. Well, you're very precocious. Do you know what that word means? No. Precocious? Well, you should memorize that one. 
precocious. 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 Oh, stop and put, just fucking put him down. It's time. Like there, like where are the is he close to Canada? At any point? No, he's in California. He's in L.A. Get him towards one of these Canadian pods and just consider it, man. This is it's time to end it. You should. I mean, there's no re, your personality is dead. It's over. There's nothing inside. What is happening? I feel like he's just as bad with kids as Matt Walsh. It's like so fucking hard to watch this. I will get through this interview though. These kids did. Exactly. <laughs> I can I do it. No, no, you're saying it right. Oh. I can I'm do just it. Messing with you. Uh, it means uh, very grown up for your age. Yeah, my mom says I kind of look like sound like a ten year old. Now I never had kids. You don't think that makes me weird like J D Vance, no. do you? No. no, no. No, thank you. Many kids. people did not have. Many people did not have kids and Many... had to adopt, especially the show that me and my mom watched well, about trying. Okay, well, just because you don't have kids doesn't mean you have to adopt. Yeah, you, you don't, don't, you don't, don't have, have to, to adopt. don't have like... to be around them at all, right? Yeah. <laughs> well, be around I heard them. that you, you didn't like kids or something. I, I, that is a, a rumor <laughs> started by a child I knocked into the gutter with the door of my limousine. It is not true at all. Um, Why did you not get into <laughs> <laughs> No, I'm just... No, I, I, I mean, some of us don't want to have kids around all the time, but do He's I... so funny. ...here with you look like someone who doesn't like kids? Of course not. I like Yes, you sound like someone who fucking hates this interaction, actually. Do I sound like someone who doesn't like kids? A hundred percent. I'd be like, Bill does not like kids. Hello, man? Do you think this is a successful social interaction? The good news is that we can all look upon this and think of ourselves as wonderful human beings, okay? If you would do better than Bill Maher in this social situation, you're a wonderful human being, okay? If you would do worse, I you need to fucking go figure out why and change that about yourself. People. Mm -hmm. I like... <laughs> it's a really low bar, which is why it's an easy W for everybody. You feel a little bit better about yourself. <laughs> I like all people in limited time amounts. Um, so, okay, so if soccer doesn't work out, what's plan B? Uh, something like physical therapy. Yeah. Um, trainer? Um, yeah. Something like Ma that? Maybe a trainer, yeah. I mean, to be honest, I just want to make money <laughs> when I grow up. Um, well, it's important about what you make money at, because otherwise you're not going to be happy with I might do something in, like, the medicine field. Uh, I no. don't know, maybe okay. my mom was saying... Maybe I should try to become a doctor, but I don't know. It doesn't well, seem you, interesting. You, <laughs> well, then you shouldn't. I know. And it takes an am amazing amount of dedication. Yeah. Not only medical school, which is a killer, mm -hmm. but as soon as you get out of medical school, they put you in a hospital where you work like 80-hour weeks. They work you till you can't even see what's going on. That because... kind of also reminds me of a show that I was in, Grey's Anatomy. Pay me we... enough money, I'll suck Kevin Spacey's dick. Why are we talking? Is, is, is it because he's reminding you of Kevin Spacey? What's happening? Speak for chat when I say... Release me! <laughs> This is beautiful. Just remember. Just remember. All of this will come back around to me upon 420 when my suffering begins. Okay? Were you playing? I was in this? playing in like an audience for like it was like a play and I was like a also like a, a child. child. You're playing and, a child? Yeah. I think you're being typecast. Child. I think you're being typecast and you should talk to your agent about it. What? You don't want to get you don't want to get caught in that trap. I that you're always agent. a child. I didn't, I didn't, I didn't oh, I'm always young. I, I, I didn't like have was an agent when I was in Grace and me, but I had. A <laughs> is this a three-quarter life crisis of his? I don't know. What is wrong with salami? There's not a thing wrong with salami. The end is never the end. Is never the end. Is never the. <laughs> imagine a manager, a manager who was my manager and agent, and now I have an agent. Ooh. And a manager still. You have an agent and a manager? Yes. Yeah, how much do they take? Like, do you know that? Like, is it 10%? Is it 15%? Colonel Parker used to get 25. Am I, is that crazy or what? Colonel Parker? Kids, Colonel Parker, nothing. What the fuck? Speaking of 420, how's that tattoo coming? Uh, it's coming.
Okay. I'm going to get multiple. No. <laughs> also, I kind of also want to be an artist. You didn't watch I'm... the Elvis movie? Uh, no. No. You didn't watch that? So that It'll be a glorious reveal. Austin Butler? I mean, I've been trying to, like, watch popular movies, like, but I don't like going to theaters that much. Yeah, uh, but it's been on. It's been on. I know, but, like, we had an HBO Max subscription, but then, like, my mom just canceled it, so. <laughs> I just, he yeah. works for HBO. Hilarious. Do they have what I need. Why are we still here? Just to suffer. <laughs> yeah. Well, well, I, I, I won't take Paramount that personally, although, and I, my mom <laughs> although I guess me. I could. <laughs> I, I had a Paramount subscription and my mom canceled it. Mom, if you're watching this, please had it again. I need to watch the regular Victoria. <laughs> That's the same way I was at 10. I always knew where the camera was. And then there's one right there. What, oh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> Whatever. Okay, I, I can't. <laughs> um, but uh, the, so the life of Elvis doesn't interest you at all? Uh, no. no, not really. Okay. I mean, you know, you know he was like a bad MF, right? Uh, Elvis? Yeah, Elvis uh, Presley. Yeah, I heard of him. You know, you heard of him. Yeah. <laughs> Isn't that amazing? Do you have a little sister? I have no siblings. You have no siblings. You're an only child. Yeah. What's wow. Like? Um, I really hope that he stops interacting with children in general. I, can you believe they did more of these? I mean, I've heard you, from every... Chad is uh, getting sad. Look, uh, we're close. <laughs> it's all part of a new program we like to call Deep Hurting. <laughs> Everyone that has siblings, that it's the best thing that, you know. No. That you don't? No. Yeah, Sometimes that I don't have siblings. Sometimes they can be mean. You have siblings? <laughs> yes. And you don't like them? She no, that. I do like them, but sometimes they can be mean and like, <laughs> yell at me. And what about your parents? You like them? Yeah, I like my parents. Yeah. yeah. You like your parents? Yeah, I love my parents. <laughs> Look at that. Yeah. Well-adjusted kids <clears throat> with, with parents that they like. I don't, I don't, know, I don't know how we found oh, those. Oh, yeah, I also told Ashley, Ashley um, to buy um, you a plaid shirt and jean jacket. What, say this again? I also um, told Ashley, your Ashley, like, um, to buy a jean jacket and a plaid shirt for you. Why? Mm. Because she asked me, oh, like, out there, Look good. Um, what your style should be. So I told her that, and she said that I'll, she'll a probably buy it. Jean jacket and a, what am I, jelly roll? I don't want a jean what? jacket and a jelly plaid roll. shirt. I'm not a cracker. I'm not a farmer. A plaid shirt and a jean jacket. What is this, 1982? <laughs> <laughs> it would look good. On everybody. Every single person wearing the same jean jacket and plaid shirt. You want to forgive me for showing this to us? Well, I didn't submit it to my trash pile, did I? No, is that what's in now? Is that why you're saying I should wear it? If, if you didn't want me to watch this, Bill Maher shouldn't have been so fucking cringe. This? I don't know. Or you just think it fits me? Yeah, I just so, think it fits you. So what is that I, in oh, your knee? Oh, it's like, it's like ripped I, jeans, but this has like... Rips on the side, kind cool. of, and so it's... these jeans. They... Oh my God, he's gonna oh, it's booming out. Uh, jeans ripped already. What is this? 1982. Says the guy telling infants about a long dead Elvis. I know, right? They come like that in the store. Yeah, yeah, kind so of. You but these are for ripped jeans. Uh, yes. So why why is it cooler to have jeans that look? Like you're a blind hobo who got dressed at the hobo? Goodwill store um, than it is to have actual nice clothes like I have. Nice. nice clothes. Nice clothing <laughs> that I have. Nice clothing. Why is your... It's a, it's a style now. It's a style. Oh, now. Like I'm yeah. old. No, no. It's like literally my brother, he has old like pair of jeans when he was like 12. And they fit me actually, but sometimes they're a little long. I have these one jeans that are like actually big rips. That Just defending her position, I appreciate her. Sisters, Don't let him beat you down. But they actually fit me pretty nice and like. <coughs> so, did you wear Good. the same kind of clothes when you started out life as a boy? I assume you're both transitioned. I'm just. What the fuck, Bill? What? What? How did it get worse? 
How did it? It well, stopped. Creepy isn't illegal. <laughs> Why? And and. Assume <laughs> you were a boy as a child and you were a girl. I mean that's. What? No. What? No. no. Oh, I thought everybody these days was transitioning. No. No. no, no, no. You're you actually was born. Uh, yeah. Was... Stop, man. I want to slam my fucking head into the desk. I just want. <laughs> you ever seen Hereditary? <laughs> me, me right now. Because it's piss you off, Bill. That's why it's cool, Bill. It's called a counterculture, Bill. And you were born a girl? Yeah. Oh, okay. All right, fine. So whatever kink, whatever you're into. Kink? Bill! Stop! You're like victimizing these children. Can't, can't. <laughs> hammers, hammers. Whatever we're, whatever we're Come on, doing, man. Do is fine with me. Okay, Nothing dude. Weird about it. I have no idea what you're talking about, so. <laughs> thank you. Okay. Well, I thank you, kids, for coming over. I think you. By the way, can you sign these both? Yes, I can sign. Sign the phone. Yeah. Sign right on the phone. Yeah. And oh, also, can you put your phone number in here so I can call you? Uh, no, we <laughs> we can't. Uh, uh, it's a little inappropriate, Mrs. Robinson. <laughs> Well, creepy isn't illegal. Maybe it, it it ought to be. You know? Maybe that was creepy enough. Maybe that exceeded my threshold a little. I got one person in chat saying, please, please watch more. Chat, here's what we'll do. I will not be watching more of this tonight. But the cringe buffet that is part two of this, we will watch. Is there a part three? Is well? there's a part three as well? We'll watch part two, and then someday after that we'll watch part three. Yeah, I'm not watching more of that tonight. I literally, I, I cannot bear it. I, I could not possibly bear that anymore. I want to watch a good interview with kids just to cleanse that shit. That was actually so uh, much more uncomfortable than I thought it would be. You know, I didn't really think Bill Maher was the least safe guy you could put kids with, like, of the famous people, like, in a room with other adults around. But I think, I think it's up there, actually. He, like, he, like, actually cannot and should not interact with children. Keep them away. For their good. He's incapable of socializing. He's, he's just a, he's, ha ha ha. I'm actually, you know how like sometimes we say we're cringing. Like I'm actually like I got like the the ickies and the cr the cringe from that in like a real like a way I can feel crawling across my skin. The real cringe. We got genuine cringe here. Okay, it's hard to come across. There's internet cringe. We're like it's cringe or whatever. And then it's sort of like the post cringe era, which is very nice. That was actual cringe. That was uh, that was why that was so hard to watch. It's really hard to get that now. And in a way, in a way, that's kind of why I want to watch part two. To ride the lightning again. <laughs> to feel something, chat. Alright, but not, not not right now. In fact, I, I can't even, like, fucking look at it. I gotta... We're going back to the tater tot screen. I'm taking that off. I, I can't even... Ooh, ooh, gives me the shivers. Alright, tater tots will soothe all of us, chat. That's the end of the video. We're gonna watch another one of these soon, though. So stick around! So it's curious how bad it can get. I'm literally told that this next part is worse. So we'll watch. We'll watch. Oh, God. I don't even want to. Oh, God. I can't. I can't look at it. The tots will soothe us. All right.